Hey guys, welcome back to another video with your girl Alana Fauché. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you all so much. Um, so as you can tell by today's title, I have recently transformed my hair. One, I got it cut and two, I went all over blonde once again. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of why I got it cut. Um, so let's just jump right into this video and get going. Um, let's just get going. So, um, I decided to go in and get my hair professionally cut. I got, just got a blunt cut just straight across and I obviously added in a few like smaller pieces up here just to frame my face a little bit. And then I also got bangs as well, um, but they're kind of grown, grown out now and honestly, they are super annoying. I, I just don't like the bangs at all. Like they're cute and all, but when I'm working out and stuff they just get in the way and I just like to have my bangs long enough so that then I can pin them back or when I put my hair in a ponytail they fit in there so not a fan of the bangs and I probably will never get them again not this short anyway I always like to make them um long enough to go behind the ear so that they're out of my way um so yeah I went and got my hair cut and the reason for that is because we recently moved into our new house um probably I think it's been three months now but within the first two months, I noticed a dramatic change in my hair and my skin. And that's not a good thing. It was ne It's not a good thing um, at all. I absolutely hate the way that my hair feels now, the texture of it. It just, not right now is actually better. And I will tell you guys why and what I did to help my hair get to the point where it's at right now. So the reason why I decided to cut it is because... Um, it got to the point where it was like literally like dealing with like a rat's nest or like a bird's nest like it was just complete disaster so every time i go ahead and comb through my hair with my brush or my comb whatever it was like i couldn't even brush my hair with a comb actually because it would just get stuck so i decided um to go and get it cut for that reason but the main reason of why i my hair was so dry and it was just getting so damaged is because I was dealing with hard water and what hard water is is it's the water that comes out of your tap um, sometimes certain locations where you live um, in Canada from what I know um, we all sometimes have hard water and it's really bad for your hair and your skin so I noticed a huge difference from moving here from my last house my last house my hair never had any issues and i use high-end products so i know that it wasn't anything differently that i was using because i've been i was using the same stuff i was using um prior to moving here i don't like to switch up my hair products too often unless i really need to like if i go from like dark to blonde then i'll change it but otherwise i try and stick with the same products that way my hair doesn't go into like a complete disaster and freaks out when I switch the products so I knew that it wasn't anything differently that I was doing and I knew that it had to have been um because of my water from my shower water so what I did is I ended up going to Home Depot and I did a bunch of research beforehand and I found out that you can actually get this little um attachment onto your shower so that then it filters your water so that the water is not as harsh on your skin and your hair i will go ahead and show you guys a little clip of that once i'm done just talking a little bit more or i'll just add in a little clip like well i'm talking about it here but this um attachment has literally changed my life um it's helped my hair so much over the past three weeks i have soft hair again I don't have any breakage and I don't have to worry about my hair getting tangly like it was like it was really bad I think I can even insert clips of how bad my hair was the lady who cut my hair she kept thinking that it was because of how many times I bleached my hair like because she could see that I had bleach in it she's like are you sure it's not damaged from the bleach and I'm like no, no 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 like I've bleached my hair many times and I know when it's chemically burnt or whatnot you know what I mean um so she kept insisting that maybe it was because I have bleached hair and I said no that's it's really not the case like I literally walked in there with leave-in conditioner in my hair and it still didn't make any difference it was so tangly even she had a hard time brushing through it she's like it's fallen out like as she's brushing it and I was like I know that's why I'm here because I needed to chop my hair off 
because I was thinking maybe it could be the dead ends but once I made that chop and I went to Home Depot that exact same day and I picked up the uh, hard water filter m my hair is so much better like literally when you see the pictures my hair was literally some of the length was different lengths because of how damaged my hair was because of the hard water and that hair was not touched with bleach in probably like six months I think it was I think it was about six months the only thing I did to my hair was add the low lights and add in a darker color doesn't damage my hair for me like my hair wasn't damaged at all from doing that it felt fine it wasn't until we made the move into this house that I noticed such a big drastic change in my hair for the worse it was absolutely terrifying because I literally felt like all my hair was gonna fall out it was the worst experience ever um, but I'm just glad that I actually jumped onto this and found this filter that has really just helped me tremendously with my hair and as you can see it's like it looks a lot healthier um compared to what it was and it just feels so soft now like i actually get compliments saying wow your hair looks so like strong and soft and after i uh got the hard water that's when i decided you know what now my hair is doing better um and i was so tired of looking at the brown in my hair and i was just really 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 missing my blonde hair and I decided that you know what I'm gonna go back to all over blonde because that's more me that's what I love um so I decided to go and bleach my hair I did bleach my hair it took me two sessions um I did it with in two days so the first day I bleached it the second day I bleached it again and then I used the toner um so this is how it looks right now as you can see my roots are already starting to come in it's been about a week since I've bleached my hair um and then what else yeah so the the technique that I used to like for the toner um, I will link up in the cards just above here you can go ahead and watch that um, and you get amazing results every time obviously my hair doesn't look exactly like that video just because I am still in the transformation of going back to the ideal blonde that I that I want and that I'm hoping for um, but I don't want to just jump um, and bleach my hair all over again for a third time I'm gonna wait maybe another month or two I'm just gonna really focus on doing like leave-ins and doing deep conditioning treatments at home and just taking care of it I also don't use heat on my hair every single day I rarely ever use heat on my hair um, but obviously for the sake of this video I did go ahead and use my uh, straightener just to add this little bit of a swoop here at the bottom um, but yeah I'm not one to I'm really just trying to revive my hair back from the hard water and obviously the bleaching is damaging no matter what so I'm just trying to recover my hair at this point so I'm just gonna take it easy and just let my hair kind of do its thing for a few months and then I will obviously go back in with my bleach and touch up my roots and then I might go in on this section as well because I did come quite low with the brown um, so it came to about here and then I had some pieces like because I did do low lights um, so some of the blonde pieces are the same color as up here that come all the way down but for the most part I'm very happy with my hair and how it turned out for the first um, two sessions of bleaching it and the toners that I used so I'm I'm happy with where it is right now and I just wanted to come on here and really talk to you guys about hard water because it is such a serious thing um, if you have really damaged hair and you do everything to your hair then I would really consider looking at your water um, first thing and maybe go and pick up one of those um, hard water filters from Home Depot or like your local um, store that carries like that type of stuff just search it up on google and i'm sure that it will come up um whatever is closest to you but i highly highly recommend that um you do your research and if you're having problems with your skin and your hair that's probably obviously it could be within a health reason as well but for my case i knew because i made the move um it's just the timing and everything played a part and i just knew that it was from my water 
I just knew that it was from my water so I got on it right away and my hair already feels so amazing so yeah so that's the reason why I decided to cut my hair um and I also just wanted to get rid of the dead ends as well but I hope that you guys like my new color um and yeah I hope that you'll be seeing me this shade for a while fingers crossed because I'm so impatient but I told myself I'm gonna wait and I'm not gonna do any more damage than I've already done to my hair by using the bleach um but yeah so I hope that you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you'd like to see more videos from me please hit that subscribe button down below like comment share and I will see you in my next video bye